Hello, we're students in the Counseling and School Psychology program at Chapman University. My name is Sydney. And my name is Emily. Today, we're going to briefly discuss trauma and stress-related disorders. Feel free to take notes and download this one-pager resource, one-page resource to learn more and to share with your colleagues and students. This resource is meant to be helpful for working with students who have experienced stressful and traumatic events. Let's first cover what trauma and stressor-related disorders are specifically. Trauma and stressor-related disorders are a group of disorders in which severe psychological reactions develop following exposure to a traumatic or stressful event. The development of emotional or behavioral symptoms is a response to stress from a traumatic or stressful event. The most commonly known type is post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD, which is characterized by significant psychological distress lasting more than a month following exposure to a traumatic or stressful event. Another type of disorder is reactive attachment disorder, which is characterized by serious problems in emotional attachment to others. Next is acute stress disorder, which is often manifested similar to PTSD, but the duration of symptoms lasts a bit shorter. And disinhibited social engagement disorder is characterized by a pattern of behavior that involves culturally inappropriate, overly familiar behavior with unfamiliar adults and strangers. The symptoms can be placed into four broad categories, intrusion symptoms, avoidance symptoms, negative alterations, and hyperarousal symptoms. You can read more about these symptoms on the one pager here. A few common traumatic or stressful events and risk factors include domestic violence or intimate partner violence, rape, sexual or physical assault, child abuse, professionals who respond to victims with trauma, and random acts of violence that take place in the public, school, or workplace. And here we have some prevalence rates for different populations in the US. Um, we're not going to go over each one in detail, but please review them um, later. They're on the one pager. And then when we look at school-based interventions for students with trauma and stressor-related disorders at the universal level, schools can build a positive school climate and implement the trauma-informed approach at the secondary level, schools can implement school group counseling using the Cognitive Behavioral Intervention for Trauma in Schools, known as CBITS program. And at the individualized tier of support, schools can provide students and their families with community-based resources. Uh, there's more detailed information on the resources list on the one pager. And before we conclude, we wanted to touch on some resources that are available to educators, students, and families. You can use the corresponding QR code to locate the resources website and where to learn more. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about trauma and stressor-related disorders. We hope this information will be useful in promoting positive mental health among students, families, educators, and within the communities you serve. Thank you.